So the film is about a couple who are approaching their 45th wedding anniversary and they're a week away from a big party, big celebration. Um, and a letter arrives for the husband and it informs him of uh, that the body of his long lost love has been discovered in the mountains. And from that point onwards, that kind of ricochets out into their relationship in the present. And the story is about their relationship, I suppose, Kate and Jeff, and how it can, uh, how it's affected by this, by this revelation and this, and this news. So there was this short story that I found. It must have been about five years ago now, um, and it was like a twelve-page, tiny short story in a collection of short stories. And it was a, it was a very like stripped-down version of what the film has become. Um, but I remember just reading that first short story and just being so kind of fascinated by it. Uh, the concept of this uh, body from the past being discovered and how that has an effect on the present and how that affects this kind of relationship in the present. And it was so kind of haunting and simple. Um, and so that's where the starting point was really. And then I took it from there, we got the rights to the short story and I kind of expanded and enlarged it into what the film is, what the film is now. I usually always try and shoot uh, in story order as much as I can and with a small crew and I think especially when you're trying to make something that feels quite intimate and you know it is really a two-hander between these two people you want to kind of limit the the mechanics of filmmaking as much as you can or I do anyway um, so it's always about creating an environment that doesn't feel like a film set so it's a smaller crew it's like lighting is minimal and if it is there it's outside the window rather than surrounding the actors um, and I think shooting in story order is just another way to help that kind of process. It's good for the actors, it's good for me, so I can keep track of, of what's happening. And I think especially for the actors, though, I think when you speak to actors, they love the idea that they can, they can actually shoot in story order. And I think especially when you're doing something kind of more subtle, um, and kind of the movement between scenes are more subtle, uh, it's hard when you're shooting completely out of order. Um, but it has, its, it has its benefits and it has its, like... Um, problems because when you shoot in order by the time you get to the big dramatic moments at the end of the shoot everyone's like oh, I'm exhausted so it has its downsides as well but I think it's it's kind of a method I like to try and try and keep to the atmosphere was really good on set it was very everyone's very relaxed and it was very calm and it's it's very important to me that that atmosphere on set feels a certain way and a lot of my job is trying to help create that atmosphere so that the actors can feel comfortable that they can feel you know that they can give their best performance, all that kind of thing. And so the atmosphere was great. It was, I felt like there was never any problems, never any shouting, never any, any tantrums. It was just a really kind of supportive, um, you know, nice atmosphere to be in. Working with Tom and Charlotte was amazing. It was kind of, it was probably, it was the first time I'd worked with anybody of like fame, let's say. So it was really, fascinating working with actors who have been in all kinds of enormous, successful, wonderful films. Um, and so that's just really amazing to, to work with those people and all the kind of knowledge that they've got. And they were so dedicated to the project from our first conversations I had with them. They really threw themselves into the material. We had some fantastic like early creative conversations about what the film was about and where we would want to go with it and what they feel like they could bring to it. Um, and so it was it was fascinating. and. They, um, you know, I was a bit kind of concerned about, wow, are they going to be on board having a tiny little crew of like 20 people or whatever it was, but they just, they seemed to completely embrace it. It's very, it's hard, like, I usually, when I'm shooting, I then completely, like, forget about everything that's happened once I've, once I'm done with it. Um, but I suppose the favourite moments are usually the moments when you think you've got the scene, like, that's the favourite moment. Like, it's so hard, you start each day thinking, I want to get this is what I want to achieve with this day and with this, with this, with this shoot. And it doesn't always happen. You don't always get what you want for a multitude of reasons, from, from whether it's just like bad traffic on the day you're shooting or whatever it is. But so my favorite moments are those moments where it just comes together and you're like, yes, I feel confident that we have what we need. Or just things that you don't expect happen. Um, and they're kind of my favorite moments. So it's not really anything specific. It's just knowing that when you get something that, that is good. I hope that people go and see the film because it's like a portrait of a marriage, but more importantly than that, I think the film to me is about the choices that we make, the choices we make when we're young, the choices we continually make, and how we have to keep trying to work out what our life is about and what it means and what it's meant. 
Um, and so I think even though it's a story about two people who are in their 60s and 70s, I really do feel like it's a film that is for anybody of any age, you know, and we constantly have to make difficult decisions and choices in life, even if it's down to, do I want to be with this person? Do I want to marry this person? Do I want to have a child with this person? Do I want to live with this person? What do I want to do with my life, my work, kind of everything really. Um, so I do feel like that that at the core is what the film is about, as well as being a portrait of a, of a relationship. It's about, you know, um, the struggle we have in our everyday life to make the right choices.